I am Mr. Myers and I teach Shakespeare. Uh, students should take Shakespeare because it's a fun class to take. We get to watch a lot of the film versions and stage versions that have been recorded and hopefully you'll we'll have a chance to take a couple field trips. And uh, It's a good chance to, for people to just see that Shakespeare can be intimidating but it can also be very fun, it can be really enjoyable. Um, and there's a really bit laid back kind of atmosphere. There's not a whole bunch of essays that you have to write or anything. It's just a fun class to take. Hi, my name is Mr. Baker. I teach public speaking. Every student should take public speaking. It is amazingly helpful to students. Uh, it helps students not only learn the abilities to step up in front of people and speak, but it also gives them the ability to evaluate speeches made by other people. It is a class that everyone needs to sign up for. I'm Mr. Blanton. I teach the Media Studies course. If you want to know more about how media affects your lives or the lives of the ones around you, please consider taking my course. Right, um, my name is Mr. Reed, and uh, I'm one of the social studies teachers here at Goshen. And then the elective that I teach is military history. Um, there are a few years where I teach it. Some years Mr. Edwards does. Mrs. Ramwell can also teach it as well. Uh, but it is a, a class that we offer uh, just to kind of give kids more of an option uh, as to what they're going to do once they graduate from Goshen High School. Um, a lot of you guys are 17, 18 years old, still trying to figure out what you want to do. Um, so we tend to think that the military could possibly be a relatively good option for you. Hi, my name is Mrs. Edwards and I teach um, social studies at Goshen High School. Um, I teach um, two social studies electives. I teach sociology and I also teach dual credit Western civilization. Um, sociology is a course that, um, it's an introductory course um, and it's a course that's often taught in colleges but it also is just about society in general so by taking sociology you learn a lot about yourself. Um, my dual credit Western civilization course um, is a college course. You can earn college credits. Um, and if you take both semesters, you can earn up to six um, semester hours. But um, there, one of the big reasons to take it is that um, a lot of colleges require history, even if you're not a history major. Uh, my name is Daniel Adamson. I have AP Psych First Bell, um, and Mr. Edwards teaches that class. Uh, AP Psych is interesting because it's one of the few uh, classes at Goshen High School that's pretty much just about you. Uh, it's actually about what's going on in your head at that moment, at that time. It's also one of the few classes that pertains to pretty much everyone. So it might just be helpful for people to take if they just want a better understanding of their mind. It's definitely made me see myself in a different way. It's a very relatable class because like, everybody experiences this on some level. And most of the stuff you learn like, are pretty common disorders or uncommon disorders that people may have in your family or you just know somebody that has it. And Mr. Edwards is a very laid back individual. He's super funny. He teaches it really interesting. It's Goshen News Network or GNN for short. It is a news broadcasting class for Goshen High School. Um, the reasons you should take this class are if you enjoy technology, if you enjoy um, public speaking, if you want to know more about editing, if you have an interest in using Final Cut Pro at the editing program, you have an interest in being innovative and being a part of a journalism team, and this would be the class for you. You do need to fill out an application for GNN. We only accept certain people who meet certain qualifications, like good attendance, pretty good um, scores in their classes or grades in their classes, and um, people who can be good team players because it's a lot of teamwork, it's a lot of effort. I'm Ms. Wilder and I want to talk to you about the electives that are available for next school year under the business technology offerings here at the school. We have accounting one and two. These are recommended more for upperclassmen, like junior, seniors, maybe your junior year take accounting one, and accounting two would be your senior year. We also have business marketing, and in the business marketing class, we run the Outpost, which is the school spirit store. That's part of the class. And then information technology, that's a semester class, and that is geared more toward lower grades, but all grades should have it. I recommend before you graduate and go to college or the world of work, because we cover a lot of information in there that'll be helpful in both situations. One thing I do want to point out, accounting is very important. If you're thinking of a career in business, management, accounting, of course. Also, if you want to run your own business, and I've not had them in accounting. So, highly recommend it. Colleges expect that you've had a high school level, so you've got some background information before school starts. My name is Mr. Seifert. Uh, I teach beginning drawing and painting and intermediate drawing and intermediate painting. I also teach ceramics and advanced art. Well, if students really like drawing and want to get better, they should take the uh, beginning drawing and painting. And if any students have any interest in video games or 
uh, video game design or working for Pixar or Disney, uh, this is a great way to get into building up their skills and learning to draw better and learning about color theory. Uh, that way they can you know, get into those jobs and you know, have, uh, have a little bit more experience. All the classes I teach are photography and graphic arts. So there's a photo one class that's primarily digital photography, photo two class that's primarily dark room, black and white film photography, and then we have photo three that's a lot more student-led. Uh, you guys would research what, what techniques you would like to learn, and we would do a variety of digital and darkroom projects throughout the semester. And then graphic arts is a lot of uh, drawing and some technology on the computer, as well as photo one and two and three has technology as well. If you're at all wanting to pursue art in any way outside of your high school career, it would be a great way to start building up your portfolio for uh, applying for a two-year school or college. Hi, my name is Mr. Russell, and I teach uh, wood tech classes, and I also teach a web design class, okay? I teach uh, tech one, I teach wood tech one, two, and three, and I also teach a web design class. Reason why students should take uh, my classes are because the classes are mainly hands-on classes. We use, uh, kind of apply math techniques and technology to the class, but uh, we get up, we uh, work with our hands, and we use a lot of different machines and tools. Coach Slegel, Mark Slegel, Mr. Slegel, any of those I'll answer to. First period I teach technology which is bridge building, uh, rocket building, CO2 car building. Second period, I teach physical fitness. And third period, I teach Wood Tech One. Big reason to take those classes is we don't have homework and very little book work. It's all hands-on, lab-oriented type do it, action doing learning while you're doing learning. And uh, we really enjoy that. Most of my students enjoy it. We don't spend every day doing book work and reviews and writing. We do read technical writing, which is important, and it has to, especially in technology, where it has to do with the physics involved in those things I mentioned. So it's good for the students to get used to technical reading and a little bit of technical writing. But I'm Coach George. I teach PE and fitness class. Students should take my class because fitness is a very important part of your life. Uh, if you don't want to work out, though, you shouldn't be in my class. I don't want people in there that work out, want to get after it, make themselves healthier mentally and physically. Hi, my name's Lisa Smith. The electives that I teach are character education, walk for life, concepts of wellness and fitness, and then general physical education. Character education is important for everyone. We all need character. We all need all those attributes that make us better people. Uh, so it's important that I think everybody should have a good foundation of some integrity and good character. Walk for Life is perfect for those that do not like sports. Wellness and fitness is a combination of health, a little bit of classroom, and a little bit of gym time. And it, combining the two make a uh, person overall healthy. And then lastly, general physical education. We cover all the team sports. If you guys like to uh, play some of those activities like basketball, football, volleyball, that would be the class for you to take. And we do expect you to dress out and participate on a daily basis. Bonjour, je me Madame Barr. Hi, I'm Ms. Barr. I teach French, obviously, here at Dustin High School. And why should you take French? I got so many reasons for you. So there's French spoken on every single continent where people live but one, and that one is Australia. French is the second most used language on the internet. French will get you a raise should you decide to go into the military. And it's just fun and it's pretty and it's provided me with a lot of opportunities that I hope I can help you get to. Hi, Ms. Wyckoff. I am a Spanish teacher here at Goshen High School and I teach levels one through four. Students who are interested in learning about other cultures and using another language to communicate with people in their community and in their workplace should take Spanish because Spanish is very present in the Goshen community and also worldwide. Job opportunities available for speakers of Spanish or people who speak a second language. Hi, I'm Mrs. Hansford and I teach music and vocal music and choir at the high school. I teach four 
choirs to our classes and to our extracurricular. The first is chamber choir. That's a mixed group of boys and girls. Um, that's an audition group. And then I teach women's choir. That's second period. And then I also do an acapella group during bonus and show choir after school, which is also an audition group. Uh, kids should join because it's a great place to be. It's a very family type culture. Kids are real supportive of each other. Um, it gives you an opportunity to kind of relax and enjoy music as well as improving your skills if you like to sing. Um, I generally say if you don't like to sing, you might not want to sign up for choir, but you don't have to be amazing to to join us. You can all, there's always room for growth for everybody. I'm Ashton Smith and I teach band, music appreciation, and rock theory. So music is an awesome elective and a great creative process. If you want to perform, you can be in band or rock theory. And if you just want to learn about music in general, take music appreciation.